This is the location right here of a whole lot of thought over the years for me as a fisherman. And I wanted to be sitting down here because, uh, to, just to kind of demonstrate the whole thinking thing. But I was a little upset the other day, actually. So I'm watching the news, and I've seen this before, but I saw it again. I see a guy introduced as a distinguished fellow. Some type of distinguished fellow. And I've heard this fellow thing before. Now, the other thing I hear in the news quite a bit is a thinker. Just they, they call them thinkers. A great American thinker. Today we have with us so and so, a doctor, or whatever. They usually got a bunch of the doctor prefixes, whatever. But he's a, he's a great American thinker. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm tired of that. But I, I, I really decided I better look this up because I've never really looked it up. And I got to have a cheat notes, me you know, to, to really get stuff right. But here I looked up distinguished fellow. And it, you know, in parentheses it says academia. I think that's where you get an education. You notice I took my glasses off here to look like I'm thinking a little bit more, but this is any group of really, really, really smart people selected to form an intellectual cadre and opine, guide, and influence. Now doesn't that sound nice? Form a cadre could be could be dangerous, frankly, but intellectual cadre. So these are people that they, they go to school a lot and they're really, really, really smart people and they get selected to inform. And, and then I, I, the other thing I did was I did a search on great American thinkers. And there's all kinds of stuff that comes up. Again, these heavily, you know, college educated, they're, you know, all kinds of philosophers come up, these Western brilliant, but, but anyway, here's the pattern. No fishermen. No fishermen at all ever come up. Now there's one thing I gotta argue with. There is no way in heck, I don't care how educated these guys are and how distinguished they are, they don't do as much thinking as I've done the thinking right here thinking and building them. I have come up with different lures, designs, quick strike rigs that, that, that would have laid up all night and thought about this stuff and every year the plotting, the planning, the I'm surprised actually I was able to sit down here without having a hook in my butt but it's it happens. All the, do you think Kevin Van Dam doesn't think? Mark Zona, these guys, you live dream. I know there's little fish swimming around in their brains. There's muskies paddling all around in my head constantly. So I'm absolutely positive, positive, that fishermen think more about their passion than these smart intellectual guys that went to college. And learned. We are distinguished thinkers, distinguished fellows as fishermen. And I think these distinguished people who put these distinguished lists together had better get some fishermen on that list. 